Hey guys, what's going on? It's Thunder, and I've got a game here on Nuketown. And guys, look, I know when this game first came out, I wasn't really digging Nuketown too much, but I've done a complete 180 on this map, just like I've done on a few other things in the Call of Duty franchise. I've done a complete 180, man. Look, for all you guys out there that like to call me a hypocrite and stuff, I mean, I, I don't understand why I get called a hypocrite so much. You know, before I, I hated Ghost because all people did was camp with it, but now I've actually found a way to turn Ghost into a, a player's weakness because... Like I said, man, Ghost is only powerful if you give it power. And, oh, I get owned, baby. Ooh, look at this dude. Tack insertion. That guy must be a burst. So, <laughs> throw a throw a nade up there. Get a hit marker. Come up. Get an assist. And, yep, looks like somebody cleaned that guy up. But, uh, yeah, guys, I mean, I've done a complete 180 on Nuketown. I used to not like Nuketown. Now I love it. I mean, I just completely love this map. And what is up with my aim? Damn, I suck. There you go. I finally killed this dude. Yeah, my aim was shit this match, guys. You're going to see some real sloppy aiming. Uh, one, I'm really not used to playing with SMGs. This is my first uh, time using the MP5. I think I was using the AK or the AUG. <laughs> my two favorite assault rifles. But I slapped the MP5 on. Yeah, I'm still not used to aiming with it yet. But if I played with this gun all the time and I got my aim down with it, I'd probably be putting up some crazy-ass gameplays. I think I might play with the MP5 a little more often. Just because I love the SMG, man. I mean, I run around. I'm really fast. I mean, look how quick I drop shot. And that dude, that's just bad luck. I had a lot of bad luck this match, guys. And when I say you need good luck to um, get gameplays, guys, I don't mean you're a bad player. And, and, you know, I mean, good players need luck. Everyone needs luck. You're going to see this match. Classic example of how... I mean, I was running Napalm, SR-71, and dogs. And, I mean, I just had some bad luck this match. I could not get my dogs. Couldn't get on my streak. But, you know what? Who cares, dude? Because, uh, you know, I kept moving this whole game. Action pack. I didn't post up behind the Jeep like I usually do with a G11 or something. Or an M16, even though that strategy is dominant, and I've gotten some crazy gameplays doing that strategy. Uh, you know, I rush around here on Nuketown. And uh, like I was saying, guys, I changed my mind on, you know, a few things, you know. I, I still ne will never change my mind on Second Chance. Uh, that per the worst perk in the world. Nothing will ever make me change my mind on that. But, uh, you know, Black Ops and me, we've had a rough relationship. But I've come to appreciate this game a lot. Uh, you know, Nuketown's a lot of fun. It's just crazy. It's chaotic. A lot of shit going down. Um... Oh, yeah, to all my PS3 peeps, man, they keep asking me to play with you. And look at this guy with a flamethrower attachment. What? Now, see right here, man, I'll go on a little tear, and this guy just shoots me through the deck. I mean, come on, man. He did one of those half-aim, uh, you know, snap aimbot kind of things. You ever see that in the kill cam? Where some dude will be reloading, and then he'll just snap aim on you and kill you, and you're like, what? Look at this dude right here. You know this guy's bad. Camping in the window with a sniper on Nuketown. Who snipes on Nuketown, dude? Now, I'm not saying you can't snipe on Nuketown, but... I mean, why? <laughs> uh, I remember one time I spawned in a Nuketown game. I saw two snipers on my team ahead of me, and I just instantly rage quit because I already knew how that match was going to wind up. And Curse of the Green Triangles don't even begin to describe what was about to happen to me, I'd wager. And uh, I take these guys right out with the MP5K, just straight beasting. And, uh, but yeah, my PS3 peeps, man. Look, I'd love to play with my PS3 peeps. And look, bad luck right here. Look at all the hit markers I get on this guy, and he somehow takes me out using the AUG. Damn good gun, strong gun, just... Completely took me out. I, I thought I'd put enough bullets in them to kill them, but whatever. Probably would have picked up my Cujos. But this game's being close to uh, over anyway, so. But yeah, guys, I don't play on the PS3. Uh, I know I don't play Call of Duty on the PS3. Not because I don't like it. It's just because, I don't know, I just can't. It, it looks like I'm looking at the screen underwater. And don't get me wrong, man. I love the PS3. Like, you know, a few of my boys on Twitter today were trying to hate on the PS3. I was like, man, you guys are crazy. How can you hate on the PS3? It's got some great games. You know, God of War. Um, Uncharted. I've played every single Uncharted game, one, two, and three. I haven't, I haven't completed three all the way yet, guys. I got my, uh, my PS3 is upstairs in my bedroom. Uh, you know, I, I play that every once in a while. You know, primarily I do play Xbox. You know, because of the whole, you know, Call of Duty commentator thing. But uh, you know, when I'm not recording, when I'm just up in my room kicking it, I love to play Uncharted. And uh, the PS3 is great, dude. Just because I don't, I don't like to play Call of Duty on the PS3 doesn't mean I don't like the PS3. I, I love playing other games, God of War 3, Uncharted 3. You know, Final Fantasy VII, I've got that game on the PlayStation also. You know, some of the best games you'll find. So don't be hating on the PS3, man. You you, uh, you PC elitist, and you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, guys, it's your boy Thunder. Hope you enjoyed this gameplay, and I'm out of here. Peace. Damn, bitch.